Hey team, I'm going to try and bring a little bit more clarity to what we talked about in terms of where we're replacing tasks in the sauna. I uh, hope give you guys a little bit more understanding. So when you first open up a sauna, you're going to be in the My Tasks pane, which is what you see right here. Um, my task is up here. You see my mouse hovering. If you want to navigate back to that from any other point in the sauna, this is going to list out every task that's been assigned to you and that you're responsible for completing. Um, information here will be the title of the task, um, the project that it's a part of, if it is a part of a project. So like this one is a part of action points. So this is make a five minute video showing how to do the tasks process, uh, which is what I'm doing right now. Um, I can see that my next task is um, process or determination for opportunities of national priorities, and that's in CXT meeting agendas, uh, which means that we will cover that uh, next meeting. Um, and then you'll see other ones, and there'll be due dates um, here as well, so you can see where things are due. Um, and so this is where you'll see things when they're assigned to you. Now. Um, the next piece is my inbox. So if I click on my inbox, which is just right next to my tasks, um, this is where everything that um, you are following shows up. So if you are assigned to a task and somebody comments on it, it shows up here. Um, if you created a task and assigned it to someone else, um, and they complete the task or they give an update on the task, those notifications show up here in your inbox. So you can help track with the different uh, tasks that our team is doing. So now what we talked about more specifically is over here on this left-hand menu bar. Um, you can see all my different teams that I'm a part of here. You guys are probably just a part of the campus executive team. Um, and then you can see different projects up here that I've starred for quick access. So when I open up the campus executive team, it'll list me all of the different projects that I um, have going on within that team. Um, and so these three little dots, if I click on this, I can remove from favorites or add it to favorites. So if I want quick access to CX and being agendas or action points, I can do that. So CXT meeting agendas is very simple. We've been here before um, that these are just the different tasks that we accomplish when we talk together. Um, and then the person assigned to them is the uh, person who will lead that section. And then our heading here is obviously what day we will cover that. Now, the point that we've added as of last call is the action points tab. Now, and when we we're going through these agenda items and a task pops up for someone to accomplish on our team, um, I will be the point person to make sure that the action point finds its way into here. And there'll be a due date and a person that the task is assigned to. So like this second task right here is to review the CXT charter and that is assigned to Chuck for May 25th, which is the day before our um, CXT meeting on the 26th. So um, this is slightly different than your My Task pane, because this is the group of tasks that our team will look at each time that we meet, and if there's any unfinished action points or action points that have a further out due date they'll we'll do a quick touch base and say hey where are you at on that okay i see you did this um so that we are tracking with and kind of holding each other accountable to completing things that we talked about in the previous meeting now for example if we go here and click on chuck's task we can actually um, do a couple of things here. So the first thing is I mentioned uh, your inbox that you would get notification about um, tasks that you're following. So the followers of a task are listed at the bottom here. Um, and so you can see that I'm following this task and so is Chuck. Now, the reason that we're both following this task is because I created the task 
And so because I created the task, I'm automatically a follower. Um, and then I assign the task to Chuck. Now, because Chuck is responsible for completing the task, he is also a follower. Uh, and if we want anybody else to pay attention to the task, then we can click add follower. Um, and so I could add D or Chuck or anybody else um, into that list. Now, um, the other thing you can do is let's say that this task is completed, but it needs to be talked about with CXT. So what can happen is once Chuck finishes this and he attaches whatever documents he wants, he can go up here to this edit projects button. Okay. And then he's going to click the plus and now it's going to add a project. And we can say, let's add this back into CXT meeting agendas. And we're going to click on CXT meeting agendas. And it pops in there. Now, the cool thing is we don't even have to leave this page to organize which day we were going to talk about this because we're going to do this drop down arrow right here. And you can see the different sections that we've placed up. So we could place it in future meeting topics. We could place it in the May 26th meeting. So for now, let's go ahead and put this in future meeting topics. So Steve can choose when we talk about this next. So that's a quick overview of um, your tasks, your inbox, um, where we're doing action points, um, and what a follower means and uh, how to tag a project. So hope that's helpful.